All right, everyone, we're back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna start showing you some cutting of um, the brand new Flex Sawzall I just bought. Um, I actually owned one, and um, there was a sale at Lowe's, so I ended up buying a new one. So in this video, we're gonna be cutting up these giant, hold on, these giant RV frames. They're pretty long. They're 35, 40 feet long. You can see they're very long. So I'm going to be getting the tires off of these, and then I'm going to cut these with the Sawzall. So we're going to get started. I want to show you <clears throat> some of the tools that I bought. Let me get this set up for you. All right, so this is the new Sawzall. Um, I always had Makita's, and then I started recently and went to uh, Flex. Um, only for their, they were new, and I demoed them when they were new. And um, this Sawzall right here I've had for about a year now. And um, it's been absolutely killer. As you see, I got the Flex Impact. Um, but this is the new one. I think we're going to try the brand new one out. They're both the same model and everything. And the kit came with a drill driver, an impact driver, which my impact driver broke. And I thought it was something wrong with it. And I remember I dropped it and it cracked right here at the stem. So I don't know if they're going to warranty it. I still have to send it out to them. And a kit came with a little flashlight. And two of the smaller 2.5 amp hour batteries. And I have, I have like six 5 amp hour batteries from the last time I bought. And I'm going to be using the Milwaukee Torch Blades. For the, um, for cutting of the, the, um, frame. Sorry, I can't think. And... They, came, they gave you a bimetal blade and a big giant wood blade, but I'm not going to be using them. And I just ordered um, a hundred pack of DeWalt Sawzall blades. Uh, I like the Milwaukee Torch blades, but they're not good for cutting copper. The, the teeth are too thick on them, and it it, 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 it cuts them, but it, means, it usually rips them apart too much. It causes too much vibration. So I use the little DeWalt ones as much as I can. The yellow, Just the yellow ones, not the black ones. Uh, right now, on eBay, these are $104 for 100 blades. So that's a hundred dollars a dollar a blade. <clears throat> I ordered 100 of these. They come in packs of 25. You can't get them in 100. But I bought four packs of 25 of the Milwaukee Torch blades. And um, they were 110 So it's still not a bad price. It's just I prefer those for cutting everything except for heavy steel. And these are more of a heavy steel blade. The DeWalt ones are more of a light duty blade. All right, so we're going to attempt to take these tires off. Um, these tires have probably been on these for years. I mean, they're a bias ply tire. These frames are probably from the 70s. I don't think these have ever really ever been off. I don't know if this is going to take it off. The size is 3 16ths. I have it on number 3 setting. Huh? That worked. This thing is very powerful. And this one has like this weird like head that like takes the vibration out. So you, you're not even feeling any vibration. I haven't found anything that this thing wouldn't take off. My buddy owns a tire shop and there was a tractor trailer. Uh, one of his trailers he fills with tires. Couldn't get the tires off. Couldn't get the lug nuts off, I'm sorry. And I came in with this on, on the third setting and took them right off. Alright. I know this video is getting kind of long, but I want to show you the difference. Now this one is just one of your standard DeWalt Stanley Black & Decker, but it's 18 teeth. Do you think this one's going to be better or worse? I don't know. I mean, I think I know.
here's your answer. The teeth are completely gone on it. Thank you, Mr. Garbage Truck, for ruining my shot. And it broke. It didn't even make one cut. That's why I don't use them for heavy stuff. So I'm going to get more of those torch blades. And now I'm going to do... All right, I just wanted to see if uh, the impact would take off these rusty U-bolts um, for the uh, leaf springs. Yeah, she will. And that's that. I'm telling you, these flex tools, they're good. That was on three. I bet you I could have did it on two. Flex tools, baby.
to show you how many sawzall blades we went through. Everything's cut up. I'll show you in a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And there's one on the sawzall. I switched to the old one just because that one was new and the grease was starting to come out and I couldn't get the chuck piece open. But it still works. It just there's a new blade on it. Um so yeah, these these sawzalls are so strong, but you know that 3000 RPMs, man, she just bakes blades. I mean, and these are the metal torch blades. Some of them only got two cuts. But what I did notice was on the piece of metal, um, on the first one, when it was on top, there was it, the metal is formed and rolled and welded along the edge. So I'm cutting, when I'm cutting through at the bottom where it's rolled over, it's welded. So I'm cutting through a weld. So as soon as I'd hit that weld, which is obviously harder than the steel because it's not hardened steel, it was tearing the blades up. So that was what was really tearing the blades up now the second frame the white frame i only went through three blades even cutting the axle because there it wasn't welded in the middle like that and as you see it was welded in spots but i could i could see to miss it. it's welded here it's welded here so i just went in between the welds and you could see it was doubled so it was double as thick and i didn't even go through as many sawzall blades and these pieces are pretty heavy with the leaf springs they're pretty stout and the axle was bigger on this one. This is a heavier camper. But let me show you the load. So I just been stacking it up. I got to move it back. I've been stacking it up. Now I also have, I got to pick up another boiler. Um, I got one, two cast iron boilers. I got to pick another one up today, or I'm sorry, this week. And see all these steel wheels? A buddy of mine gave me them. These gray ones here are from a brand new 2020 um, Toyota Tundra. I might take them and throw them on Craigslist if anybody wants a spare set. Or if any of you guys want a set, man. If you got a Toyota Tundra, I guess, from like 2014 and up, they're just the steel base wheels. I think they're 17s or 18s. I mean, if you want to throw a set of, you know, uh, winter tires on them and just switch out if you got nice wheels on your truck or something. But... I might be selling them and I got a couple other pieces of structural steel here. So we're gonna be we're gonna be loading this trailer up. Uh probably by the end of the week I'll bring this in. As you see these were date like Dayton hubs. And you see there's nothing here. I just gotta roll up my straps. Tires I can get rid of my buddy who has a tire shop. So right, we're done. I'm like freaking exhausted. I had to carry all that stuff over. This video is going to be very long. I think I'm going to speed up some of the shots of me cutting. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I want to show you what it takes to cut them. And them sawzall blades. Yeah, I probably could have did better with a um, a Diablo blade. But those Diablo sawzall blades, if you've ever bought them, they work amazing. Until they pinch and then you break a tooth and then it's useless. I bought some of them and let me tell you, they are amazing sawzall blade. But what the main problem with those are, they're expensive. And if you're cutting nice flat things that, you know, but with that frame, it's twisting, it's bowing, and it would always catch. You can see what I'm cutting, you hear me cursing at it, and, and, and it'll twist, and it'll jump, and it'll stop. And that's what's bending the blades. So if you got a $15, $20 one sawzall blade, and it, you can make two cuts, and it's toast. So you're better off just ordering them in bulk like I do. I mean, you see what happened when I tried to use one of the, the, the thin yellow DeWalt blades. They, they're not made, for, they say they're for steel, but they're not for cutting heavy gauge stuff. They're, they're, the Torch um, Milwaukee Blades are, are probably the best I've seen as of, you know, cuts per uh, cost. Like I said, I went through only three blades to cut up that whole frame with cutting the axles up and a couple other pieces from the other one because there was a weld. The weld is harder than the actual steel. So keep that in mind when you're cutting them. This video is going to be forever long. But all right, guys, um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And watch the video to the end. Most people don't. If you watch the video to the end, give me a thumbs up. All right, and if you, and comment too. I watched it to the end because most people don't watch my videos to the end. They tell me make longer videos, and I can look on my analytics and see. But all right, guys, I'm done. I'm just gonna wrap, uh, roll my straps up, and put that stuff back on the trailer. But I'm done. This video is gonna be like 25 minutes long. But all right, guys, I'll see you later, man.